अस्सलाम वालेकुम इन टुडेज वीडियो आई बी रिफ्यूटिंग अ कॉमन कंटेंशन टू द कलाम कॉस्मोलॉजिकल आर्ग्यूमेंट नेमली दैट गॉड कैन नॉट क्रिएट विदाउट टाइम इट्स नॉट एक्चुअली दैट कॉमन ऑफ अ कंटेंशन इन लाइक कॉमन एथियस्ट वाइनिंग बट दिस कम्स अप इन डिबेट्स यूजली सो आई थिंक इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट टू एड्रेस इट एंड टू बी ऑनस्ट इट्स नॉट दैट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड और डिफिकल्ट टू रिफ्यूट सो हेज द कंटेंशन अकॉर्डिंग टू दियस व्यू God created the universe and God created space and time. But when God created uh, created the universe, there was no time, right? So how can God act or create or do anything without time? Hence, the Kalam cosmological argument fails. Uh, firstly, again, uh, understand this: the these clowns are assuming here that for God to do anything, God requires time. time and that god is bound or limited by time in this case keep this assumption in mind this is a very simple refutation of this the contention is assuming that god needs time to act or do things these clowns need to prove this assumption think about this they are making a claim here right why should we take that claim seriously unless if they uh, if they cannot prove it and there is no way they actually can prove it is there any logical contradiction in god creating without time no even they won't claim there is a logical contradiction in this is there anything metaphysically impossible in god creating without time if there is they need to give an argument here there is no argument for this other than uh, intuitions right and if you watch the previous video again why it is taking their intuition seriously in fact that their self claim intuitions are not evidence yet this contention and to be honest most of their almost all of their arguments are based on intuitions if intuitions are not evidence or why should we take them seriously why should they themselves take it seriously so basically there is no argument here and this is why this what is brought without evidence can be rejected without evidence and to be honest the intuition regarding this is nonsensical as well it's not that there is uh, like it's based on intuition the intuition that's brought here is nonsensical as well and there's a very simple reason for this the claim is or the belief is that since we need time to act or change so god would need time to act or change as well but this is nonsensical just because we need to eat right that does that mean god need to eat or uh, just because we need to sleep does that mean god needs to sleep it's a nonsensical claim moreover understand the problem here we are bound or limited by time right so we need time to act we are limited by it but if a being has power over time and create a time why would that being need time to act or do anything and even if you uh, atheist don't agree there is a uh, like you don't take the theist god version right whatever the cause of the universe is uh, whatever cause time or brought time into existence that cause would have the ability to basically act without time because that cause has power over time by default so even the intuition here is nonsensical right another way this intuition can be put actually is that uh, if time is not required for god to change right why would god create it the response is very simple that god create time so that we can act because we require time to act god created it for us our counter response can be why did not god just give us the ability to act without time right the response is that god could have either and this is a very simple response god could have given either uh, given us the ability to act without time or create time saying that god should do one thing over another is just a subjective value judgment why should anyone take it seriously uh another contention can be made in this regard is that our uh, time is by definition change or by definition required required for change so god necessarily requires time to act uh firstly if they are uh, if the atheist side is going with one particular definition of time they need to give reasons why that definition is privileged over other definitions of time such as change for material things or change in a particular context 
insisting one definition as the correct one is nothing but a subjective value uh, judgment and hence worthless moreover uh, just because you can define time as uh, basically necessary for change that doesn't mean time is necessary for change defining something does nothing to make it into reality yeah in conclusion i hope you have seen this is actually quite a uh, desperate contention like this doesn't refute the argument moreover it doesn't like even the intuition behind this is nonsensical like it's actually quite stupid and so i hope you have seen that this contention against the kalam like the other contentions simply don't work uh now this belief actually with regards to the kalam it's present uh, or basically god being able or unable to create without time it's not just an atheist belief certain deviant muslim groups also have this belief but uh, it's just a baseless one and it goes against the sunni beliefs inshallah i hope you have enjoyed this video inshallah i'll keep shooting these clowns till next time assalam alaikum